Hi, this is Artsy Wisdom. My name is Diane. Thank you for coming by. going to do another quick reading today. Uh, I was working on my little painting, if you guys saw in my post from my friend. <clears throat> and I, uh, we're going out to dinner later at the only place nearby <laughs> out here in the country. But, uh, and we actually have a regular Friday night dinner with a neighbor um, who's usually by himself. So that's kind of nice. Uh, so today I have a few questions that viewers had asked me and so I'm going to look into those. Um, I look, it, somebody asked me about seeing if I could look into Putin, Netanyahu, and Zelensky. And I also feel like touching in about war uh, timeline-ish. You know, I'm going to just, I feel like that might be somewhere that I need to go. Somebody had asked me if about the Central Valley of California. And I know there's a lot of farming communities there. And I'm going to look into that. It's a fresh place for me. So, and then somebody had asked if Harry will be accepted if and when he goes back to the UK with his children or not his children or when maybe soon when he has that wellness visit. I think I did that already. But um, yeah, I'm going to look into that, just that kind of stuff, and just check in on the mood today. Uh, I don't feel the energy isn't very as erratic as it felt a few days ago, so that's good. I feel like things are, are more slowed down, so let's get started. Sorry, my hair, I just pulled it up. And I have not washed it. So it's getting a little. Anyway, <laughs> more information than you guys need. Thank you again. I love my new subscribers. I love your comments and suggestions. Um, I am going to use a different deck today. I'm going to do the Tarot of Mystical Moments by Katrine Wellstein. Very unusual cards. Most of the characters in this are women. There's a few that are men. But even the kings, they have women as characters or the archetype so it's very interesting and I really like it today I felt like using these I, I might jump in with my crow tarot that I also love and that I've been using every day here she is I don't know been big into the crows lately um, and ravens so I'm gonna start where I'm, I'm drawn to which is the darkness of Putin I'm gonna start there and then I immediately, if you guys remember, I, I see foods and stuff in my mind's eye to kind of relate to who this is or what's going on. Putin's previous image in my mind was a kind of hollowed out Fabergé egg, but it was chocolate and had a little a glycine window and it was a dessert. And there was a beautiful image inside. As time has passed in the last six, eight months, however, I've seen him in this. It's gotten smaller. There's been a, um, uh, what do you call it? the revolving belt like sandpaper belt underneath him and it's been chewing away and chewing away and chewing away and he's kind of I saw him falling out the back you know these pictures I decipher them but today I saw him if I took that chocolate egg which I imagine is like big like this and it was hollow with the beauty beautiful stuff inside it's getting smaller and smaller and like to the point of like it's solid there is no window glassing. It's almost like it's like a solid, really small. Like the, So the sense I'm getting is he's getting smaller. His ability to control is getting weaker, although I'm sure he thinks that he can control everything in, uh, in Ukraine. I think they're saying that this war is now a war of con attrition. I want to say contrition. But uh, in that what I heard was that Ukraine is probably going to have to settle on what it is right now to actually find some peace. And I'm sure Russia will take that as a win or Putin will take it as a win, but they have lost so many young men. He has sent all these young men to the front in Ukraine and they've died. And all I can think of is all those mothers who have lost their sons. Some of these kids are like just teenagers and they're being forced. Some and those with money have left the country. But most of like those farm kids, kids don't have anything. They don't have the ability to do that. Um, anyway, 
so when I saw Putin, I see him, if I'm getting into his energy, I have my little <laughs> stones here. Um, I still feel like he sees the Ukraine, if I'm him and I'm looking at Ukraine, as like a beautiful um, place that he has, like it's his and he wants it. And it's light and has a bubble of light on it. And he it feels like it's just a matter of time before they can have it back. And he is willing to wait and do what he needs to do. When it comes to, uh, I, I immediately went into Xi, Jinping, Xi Jinping. He needs him, but Xi Jinping doesn't need Putin, and he he's annoyed by him. He doesn't want Putin bothered, and I know that's kind of this relationship that sort of benefits both of them a little bit more Russia, but. Uh, China's really doesn't want him. I feel like he they're just like a, what do you call, a ball around their neck. Chain around their neck. That's the feeling I get from Xi Jinping. But if I'm in Putin's energy, sitting in a chair, I don't feel like at one point everybody said he was sick. I feel like he was getting semi-sick, but I don't feel like that anymore. I just feel like his... Uh, being a smaller energy, not physical energy, but being, his determination is smaller. Um, he's going to keep, I feel like he's just going to keep throwing everything at Ukraine still. I don't see him stopping anytime soon. Uh, yeah, he did end up going to the area that I thought they were not on the... Ukraine's kind of a funny thing, but where they started the war, they entered the front, the Russians did. Eventually, I knew it would come up near the other side, and it did, and that's kind of where they've been chewing it. But the Ukrainians, if I'm going to go into Zelensky's energy, I feel him scrambling. I feel like it's more hectic. I feel this movement, like Putin was, like here, Zelensky, I feel it's Maybe it's to protect the boundaries of the land because they have to move uh, resources from place to place somehow or move resources they're getting from other countries from location to location to push forward um, and protect or just defend. Yeah, I feel like him, like he's moving a lot of things like not papers, but just ideas and things that he's like, if I saw the country and he's moving things here and there and there and there. He's tired. I feel tired. Um, you know, it's funny in the past, I think. I'm not sure if it was Zelensky, but I, or was the Ukraine. I saw him as a big poppy seed roll. And like what, the home, you know, your mom or your grandma would make at home. He's tired. He wants to quit, but he can't. He fe feels that this is his duty. I have a sense, feel a big, huge sense of pride in Ukraine. I feel like a huge sense of determination and almost to the death kind of feeling. Uh, like I'll never give up. But I think he's reconciled so that resolved himself to the idea that if they can push them, I think he said, if I, we can push them to this level out here, we'll stop and maybe we'll settle on that. That'll be our new country. If we can just get them to this place or remove them from this location, then that'll be enough. That's the feeling I get. He's not there yet, but he feels like, I think he's in his head. He's like, okay, if we do this and this, then we can stop and we can say, all right, because we have to get our country back and we need to bring our boys home and we need to um, feel like the war, like the unending war cannot stand like this. The country needs to get back. Oh, so here, the fool. Taking a risk, not knowing the... Um, 
the hardship that's underneath the ground, taking risks, leap of faith. Queen of Cups, Hanged Man. So it's a very emotional time and it's not going anywhere. Things are going to be coming to a standstill. Or I shouldn't say standstill, but very slow down. Very slow down. And I, he wants to scream from the mountaintops to the other countries to give more money, to bring more planes, dro drones, ammunition, whatever it is they need. And he is wanting to do that. Um, I don't, I think he fired somebody not too long ago, one of his generals. I don't feel like he's corrupt. I do feel like the rules there are different than the rules here. The rules during wartime are also different. Um, or the morals. But I don't feel like he's corrupt necessarily. And I think he's doing the right thing for his people. It's just different than what we imagine here in the States or in Canada. Uh, oh, and our buddy Netanyahu. Okay, my melting ice cream cone. And they, I just have to make a point. They had a year or so or longer knowing that the Hamas was going to plan this big attack. They didn't do anything. They have their, their intelligence is so, so organized. How did they not know that was happening? And they planned this other um, pager, you know, synchronized event where all the pagers blew up in Lebanon, getting the Hezbollah. I have questions how that could be if they are not, if they are that organized and that smart, how they could let the Hamas attack their people like that. And I don't think it's, I think it's, um, if I'm in Netanyahu's, oh, oh, oh. I don't like that energy. It feels, um, I don't want to say dark, but um, evilish. Like, I don't care. Kill them all. And it's like, there's not an end, a means. Like, if he just says, I get this done, then it'll be over. I don't see that. I don't see he feels, if I, if we get Hamas out of here, or we get the people there, or if we blow up such and such, things will be better, and I'll say okay for a ceasefire. time does he have I see him barricading himself I don't think it's literal but I see him barricading himself kind of like do you remember when the hostages remember the movie Argo when they had to get all the hostages out of Iraq Iran back in the 70s and they pretended they were a movie so they could get these people out of their embassy um I feel like that, like he's going to be barricaded and, and uh, I'm looking at Gaddafi. I'm looking at uh, the Czech guy, uh, Ceausescu, is that his name? The one they executed. I feel like that. I think it's going to get to that. And it's to him. He's not doing it to anybody else. Anwar, no. Um, Gaddafi, yeah. Bin Laden. That feels different, though. That's a little different. But it's like their people come to get him. I don't, I want to say entertainment purposes. I mean, that's a very dark, sinister thing. That's just what I see. Take it or leave it. But I see him somewhere in a like government building, kind of barricading himself. Somebody, there's like a mutiny or a coup, I think. Uh, and I see it in the next, I can't pick the time, next months, months? Yeah, months. 
three to six months. That's the feeling I get now. Maybe there's people planning it, but that may never happen. I don't know, but that's the feeling I get. People are thinking about it. Uh, yeah, so there you go. And the war is not anytime soon in, in the Gaza Strip because they're going to, hey, will it go? Will he? Does he want it to go out beyond their borders into Iran? <sighs> Very targeted, not like they did with that those... Um, Pagers blowing up, very targeted. They have plans like that more. I sense that they have more in the bank. Like, I feel like they're in a bank. They're all ready to roll. Not specifically that, but that's the feeling I get. So they're going to do more of that. Fun times. And uh, somebody asked if Harry would be accepted if he goes back. I'm thinking permanently is what the person asked or meant. And... Um, Harry, Henry, and I guess his name was Henry. A couple of people had told me that because I keep wanting to call him Henry and not Harry. Even though when I, um, in my conscious mind, I call him Harry. But when I get in this state, I feel Henry. I don't know why. Um, maybe he's Henry VIII. No, he wouldn't be. One of the Henrys, past kings. Um, okay. We'll be accepted. Uh, not, I feel like people are avoiding him. Like I can see him walking this side of the road and other people, they just avoid it. So they go on that side of the road. It's like anything. People adapt to ideas. Look at Camilla. Everybody hated her. Now she's the queen. Uh, and everybody has a soft spot. Some, not everybody. Many people have a soft spot for him. He would just show some contrition, humility a little, awareness, self-awareness. I think that would go a long way. I don't see him wanting to do that, though. If he does go back, I'm seeing it temporary. I, I think I read this on this yesterday or the day before. He's not going back without I mean he's not going back with me again if he goes goes back and maybe this is the swell child thing but I'm picturing it later down the road he's going to go to courts he's going to go do certain things events um Eugenie and Beatrice maybe we'll see him friend or two but he's not going to be out in the public he won't be seen in a general sense because he doesn't want to, and he's not ready. Okay. All right, let's look into this. California, I used to live in L.A. a million years ago, um, mid, early 80s, mid 80s. It's very crowded. We lived in Hawthorne. I worked in Manhattan Beach. It's beautiful, but it's very busy. Um, okay. So I'm looking at the entire state. Okay. And if I'm California, that's all I'm going to get into California's energy. Um, if I'm California, on the inside, I feel like it's burning up. The Where the border is between Nevada, I think that's what that is. I feel like it's really hot there and it's dry. I know they're having drought there for decades, but I feel it's even more dry now close to Nevada. So I had to turn off the computer for a second because I wanted to really ponder so Fresno and Sacramento are north California and I'm, what I know from the past <laughs> is that the bottom northern California wants to secede from the southern because they make they have a lot of the money up there the um, tech people and the farming stuff and they want to separate because the, they say LA and San Diego suck all the money out of the state although Hollywood's down there and they know they make a lot of money 
and they think, you know, welfare and immigrants and everything take all the money. That's a little thing that I know. I'm not sure how accurate that is and if it's still the case. But when I look at Sacramento to Fresno, well, first the dryness Nevada site, and then I was singing in the farther, way far south. I see Green Valley, and I feel flooding. I feel it, or not flooding, maybe, but wet. It's very wet, too wet. And I see somebody shoveling. And I don't know if that's to, to. It feels like it's in response to something. It doesn't feel like oh, we're farming and we're shoveling. No, I don't, it feels more like maybe we've got to make a um, place for the water to go or something. It's really weird because it's dry next to, I don't know why. And then north of that, past the valley and up northern part of the state, I see, like if you took chicken wire and you covered a whole area with chicken wire, there's holes and you can breathe and everything, but it's like oppressive. Like you're t trapped in this chicken wire thing. And I feel like it's all the way, it's not to the coast, not to San Francisco or anything, but it's, it feels bad. Like people want to get their arms out of it and get it off and they can't. Chicken wire, it's not quite chain link, it's lighter than that. But um, I see something yellow with a line. Don't know what that means. Um, and I feel sad. I don't feel that anybody's leading. I feel like um, everybody's on their own. Like they're. I don't want to say stuck, but there's not somebody that's going, okay, let's get organized. Let's do this and this and this to get rid of the chicken wire. Because uh, they can still work under it, but it's like this, a trapped on top. It's really weird. It's like a dome. Um, And it's kind of been embedded in the ground on the corners. Can, what does that mean? Why do I see playing cards? There's not casinos there. Is there some sort of debt? How can they get rid of this feeling of trap? I don't feel anybody's leading. I feel like there's nobody helping. Um, okay. I see somebody with wire cutters. <laughs> with wire cutters. Um, opening it up. That's what you need. Somebody with wire cutters to open it up. Get some tractors or pulleys or, you know, quads and yanking it out of there but it's it takes like a lot of people to do it's not just one person so I think a, a cooperative group not yet though it feels very small maybe a grassroots thing maybe that's what I'm picturing somebody people without power they're just trying to cut that chicken wire and they feel like they're just doing it to help themselves because nobody's helping them in the government don't know what that means um, and while I'm there let's look at the tech world no San Francisco's oh, it's just terrible it's a beautiful city but it's had so much problems see people dealing drugs um, I know that's not everything there but I'm on this corner and I feel like so I'm seeing the tech people and the down and out people dealing with drugs and homelessness a 
I mean, they're not going anywhere. <sighs> the tech people are like above it all. Like I feel like there's just those lowly people and the tech people are up high or the wealthier people. And there's like two cities. California has lots of problems. It's like the most, I think it has the most people in it than any other state. More, more money than some countries. But because the difference between the North and the South and a lack of um, cooperative effort and fighting and politics and different needs. I think, I feel like they should have districts. Like, this is our farming, I mean, literally label them and you have your own little mini government, which I know you do, mayors and towns and things, but even bigger than that, like a, a vice governor or something. <laughs> this is your, and then those people meet with the governor. I feel like that would be more organized because California is way too different. I don't know. Anyway, all right. That turned long. It always goes longer than I think. Thank you for coming by. Love that you're here. Uh, please subscribe, tell your friends, share, all that. And you guys have a wonderful week or day or night, wherever you're at around the world. And keep the faith. Okay, we're going to get... We're going to get through all these days as humans. And we will. Till next time.